Hi, everybody. Here's a short preview of worship for this coming Sunday, May 16th, 2021. I don't know about you, but I have found myself recently using the phrase, the end of the pandemic. As in, uh, now that we're reaching the end of the pandemic, Dan and I are starting to think about taking some trips or with the end of the pandemic coming, we're hoping the economy improves or we're hoping to begin in-person worship at Westminster. Have you found yourself saying things like that? When I say them, I suddenly, as soon as I say it, I find myself catching my, myself and wondering, is that where we are? Are we at the end of the pandemic or are we in some ways really just in the middle of the story of the COVID-19 pandemic? Are there other uh, significant chapters to come? For that matter, uh, 20, 50, 100 years from now, will historians look back and see this year as just the very beginning of the story of how humans learned to respond to uh, global pandemics? Do you ever think about life in those terms of beginning, middle, and end? Do you uh, think of the seasons that way? I mean, where are we anyway? At the uh, beginning of spring, the middle of spring, uh, or are we really just at the end of winter? <laughs> it can change your perspective on the current moment, uh, where you place it in the broader sort of outline of the story of life. This coming Sunday, we are going to uh, celebrate Ascension Sunday, and we're going to read the story of Jesus' ascension into heaven. I read in Wikipedia when I looked up this day that uh, very few Protestants, it said, uh, still observe this holiday. But I think Ascension Sunday is fascinating because it both ends uh, the Gospel of Luke, and it begins uh, the book of Acts of the Apostles. It's literally, in the context of the Bible, both an ending and a beginning. I think it helps us to um, think about that question, about how things end and how things they begin and how we might find our place in those endings and beginnings. I Perhaps this is on my mind in particular right now because I'm coming up on the end of my first year serving as the minister of the Westminster Presbyterian Church, but I very much hope that I am just beginning. I look forward to sharing worship with you this Sunday. See you soon.